Once you've downloaded TD Snap, the free version to your Windows computer, the next thing that you need to do is mo move into the settings by clicking the cogwheel and the pencil. You're going to go down to user and where it says my Toby Dynavox account, right now it says not connected to an account. And the reason I know it's not connected to a, an account is up on the top menu bar, you'll see a speech bubble with a line through it. Because you downloaded the non-speaking version, you don't have access to making the button speak. You can edit in this mode. You can um, program. You can do lots of other things. You just cannot uh, have the speech available. So if you have a MyTobyDynavox account that has been um, converted into a professional account, all you have to do is, again, go to the cogwheel and pencil, the editing button, go to user, click on the My Toby Dynavox account under the user menu. You're going to type in your My Toby Dynavox login and your password, and then select login. Now, when I select done, you can see I don't have that speech bubble up there anymore. And if I push buttons, I like this. I like this. You should have speech settings. If you don't like the voice, you can again go into the editing button and you can go into the user menu and you can change the voice that you have set up to a different voice that is preferred by you by just clicking on the speaking voice and all of the voices that are available will pop up and you can select done. You do need to have a professional account. Even if you have a My Toby Dynavox account, um, anybody can log into it, it won't speak. It is truly the settings um, in your professional account that allow you to have the speech output. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the Assistive Technology Department.